Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from the Dragon Out Info, and today we are not on the test server. And I will get to that in a second. Why? But first off, what are the couple of things you do not want to see on a AT2? Let's start. A open map. Balls. Artillery. Balls. Tier sevens. Ah, damn it! Let's just say I did not have a lot of hope for this match. <laughs> At least not for me, you know, the team, yeah, whatever, but me, yeah. Uh, it's like, this is the worst thing that can happen on this tank. Because that penetration is not great. It's not good, it's not even, yeah. In this kind of tearing, it's bad. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, I'm deciding to stick back a bit and snap from base. Not that the accuracy is all that great in this thing, but if you, how do I put it, if you dedicate to a side, so you move out one or the other direction, and that proves to be a fast forward moving direction, or a completely getting devastated kind of side, you are screwed because you cannot relocate in this thing. So, you have to pick your sides very carefully. Hmm. Well, nothing to shoot yet. I'm trying to shoot some buildings here, see if I can get a line on this M6. Blow away his cover. It's like I can almost a little bit see him, but don't have a whole lot. Anyways, the test server. Yes. I was trying out the tier 7. Yeah, the tier 7 Japanese medium. And let's just say that today I think they left the doors open of that complex that has a lot of small rooms that are white and padded. I think they left the doors open there. Un fracking believable the horrifically bad games I had. Let me put it like this. I played nine games. I didn't survive a single game. I didn't win a single game. Nine losses in a row, and I called it quits. Sorry, guys, but I just couldn't stomach that crap anymore. I lit him on fire there. But, um, yeah, it was just so, so incredibly bad. In, I think, seven out of nine games, I got outflanked because the other flank completely failed, or nobody went to that flank. So, you know, in a tank that has no armor, you cannot have people being behind you and in front of you and to your side. You can't bounce shots. There's no way to save yourself. The thing isn't fast and it doesn't bounce. And it doesn't have a big terrifying gun, so you quite literally have no way of defending yourself against that kind of crap. So yeah, I just stopped. <laughs> uh, hopefully better games tomorrow, more games, but I just couldn't do it. I don't know what kind of special people were out there today, but... We didn't even scratch them. Penetration. Come on. We didn't yep. penetrate their armor. That one didn't go I'm trying through. to track him here, Enemy in case you can't tell. Enemy is hit. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just taking out all the walls Enemy he's trying to hide behind. And RD takes him out, I think. No. Oh. PZ, FSL, uh, S... Oh, F, excuse me. Four, five, six, five. <laughs> I hate those German names and those new uh, TDs, especially the SFL, uh, OFS kind of bullshit ones. There's two of them in two different tierings. Ugh. So, uh, this game is looking a bit weird. I mean, look at that flank line that we have. Like, the north has been pretty much devastated, but we still have some things. And I think I can't see that one. I'm trying to back out here and get a line. Oh, put one into him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it. Entirely behind it. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Seriously, he survives with three health? Are you kidding me? Wow. Well, that's some bullshit right there. No, oh, can we kill one I ask? Can we kill one I ask? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. No, maybe. Nope, no pin. Dang it. Come on. Really? 
Come on, let somebody else kills him. <laughs> yeah, this pen in this tier is just bad. It's as simple as that. It is just bad. As you saw there, the side of his tank couldn't even pin him. Ooh, a tiger at this range and only going in front. Yikes. I'm trying to go for his tracks there. This thing does have enough rounds to just spam a bit, so that's always good. And I know there's an E25 down there, but where the hell is that little shit? But so far, we've not done too bad, really. But we haven't gotten a single kill yet. That's kind of disappointing. But then again, we haven't been shot at either, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> I like not being shot at. E25. Oh, D20. Can you see him? Yes, we can. Put another one into him. Yeah, and if you can get the size of people that you can actually pin, this one can output quite a bit of damage. Um, it's only 75 damage a shot, but I poop out a shot every two somewhat seconds. I think 2.9. Five or something? Something like that. I'm still waiting to get Brothers in Arms. I think I can get it down to 2.9 second reload time on this tank. So, yeah, it's quite the nasty little tank if you get it fully upgraded and get a good crew on it. I mean, this is a keeper for me for just this kind of situation. It's just. Its armor is better than the 88. There's no doubt about that. This thing survives better in tier 7 games than the 88 does, which is pretty sad. KV3 is getting royally worked over over there. <laughs> yeah, you got sandwiched between a Tiger 1 and an M6. Mm, bad sandwich. <laughs> so, now apparently we are fucking retards. Yes, sure, I'll run my tank over sand dunes. You know, that really, really fast tank that I'm in. Thanks for the fucking guy in Okay, somebody's pissed. Critical Ooh, it's 82. Critical Just trying to track him for the artillery Big here. Because this range, I don't really have a chance to pen him all that well. Oh, he's shooting at G-shells. <sighs> Come on, Artie. Do your bloody job. That one didn't go Thank you. Now it's actually PZ uh, SLF. So I took one HE shell for 25 damage, it wasn't too bad. Oh, M6. And a Tiger. Oh crap. Don't want to deal with both of them. <laughs> well, that's sort of good, they're now both focused on me and the enemy does not have artillery anymore. And so far it's sort of an unimpressive-ish kind of game, but I've done almost a thousand damage in a tier 7 game as a tier 5. With a gun that's not even great at tier 5. Just think about that for a second. <laughs> and he's asking for a moment we to get into position. Yeah, but I'm good against his tiger. We didn't he... even scratch them. Okay, I saw that shot. That tiger, I saw where he shot me. And at that point, I decided, okay. I'm going after this tiger. I know where the other tiger was last spotted. I know where the T20 was last spotted. They're nowhere near me. This tiger shot my lower plate that he has no hope of pinning. I'm going after this tiger because he has no clue where to shoot me. Oh, come on. My. The tiger had no clue where to shoot me. So I was completely safe going into him like that. Now my little pal up on the hill with a massively freaking big gun took him out for the most part, but. You know. And I ping the map with, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna support. Because, you know, I'm too slow to actually go around to that flank, so there's no point for me to do that. Now, keep in mind that the enemy target has four kills. He is not a bad player, or he got really lucky, but I'm gonna say he's not a bad player. So we gotta be careful of him. The only question is, where the frack is he? <laughs> he hasn't been spotted in a while. 
So where did he go? And I'm going over here because I want to be able to get to base and reset if I have to. Not that I'm going to be there very quickly, but I do have a decent overview of the base here. So I'm ping a map with, and that's where he was last spotted. So, where the frack is he? This tank does not have a great view range. If you look at the minimap, and pull up the minimap a bit bigger, you can see that that is my view range, the orange dotted line, give or take. So, yeah, I don't have a really good chance of spotting him. So, I'm more or less just here for support, damage support, if I can. Okay, and our PZ LSFSFL thingamajingy <laughs> has to go to work, with the sounds of it from the chat. So, hopefully he can get his ass to cap and just sit down in there if he has to go. I'm telling this tiger just to go cap. There's no point in searching his person out. We only have four minutes, less than four minutes. There's no point to search him out at this point. We're better off going on cap because, very simply, we force him to come back to their base if we do. It's just that simple. If we cap, he has to come back. He has no way of winning if we start a cap before he did. So, get on cap and we win, or we draw him out. Either way. And I'm saying, I don't want to draw. No, I'm having a bloody good game. <laughs> so, since the tiger is heading for their base, I decided to move slightly closer to our base. Just in case he decides to show up over there. I'm saying I'll head back to base just to be sure. You know, you never know what he's up to. Maybe he just wants to get the artillery kill, and you know, maybe he was already all the way down here and just decided that he wouldn't be able to make it. Or, I don't know. Still hasn't been spotted. There the hell? Man, <laughs> that's one freaky sneaky tiger, or he just went AFK. Oh no, there he is. Finally. Can we get him? Can we get him? Can we get him? Can we get him? Depression? Yeah. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Aim. Turn. Tracks. Yeah. We didn't penetrate yeah. their yes. armor. Come on, that come on. Oh, nope. Enemy armor is In case you're wondering why I'm so wibbly wobbly, I'm teetering on the top of the hill here. Woohoo! And we got him. So that's why I'm wobbling. Let's take a look at the stats. So, we actually walked away with a medal that I don't see very often Halonen's medal. I hope I pronounced that right. It was a Finnish tank ace, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, hmm. Okay, let's see what we did. Track. 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 Track and gunner. Fuel tank. <laughs> Always fun. We did... Meh, not really the highest damage, but keep in mind, I was a freaking tier 5. I got the second highest experience. RPZ, SFL, LFS, Fingamaging. I fired 59 shots and only penned 18. Yeah. This kind of tearing you just gonna have to spam. There is no way around it. Other than shooting premium, but there is no way around it. We took 6 hits, 2 of those pens, 4 of them bounced. <laughs> Let's see, potential damage of 1500. We damaged 6, we destroyed 3, walked away with 11k profit and 1400 experience in total. Not a bad game for being a low tier. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.